My name is Dan Moore. I'm a lecturer in uh, English literature, 19th and 20th century literature here at the University of Birmingham. So my research falls into uh, broadly into three strands, I think. Uh, the big strand at the moment, the focus of my research uh, at the moment has been on uh, literary modernism and artistic modernism. And by that, I mean uh, the arts, the culture, the literature that was produced um, around the turn of the 20th century, in the first few decades of the 20th century. Uh, and specifically, my research has been focused on the ways in which that, that, that art and literature was uh, um, received by public, by viewing publics and by reading publics. Um, it's been a kind of commonplace in literary criticism and artistic criticism that modernism is elitist, it's uh, esoteric, it um, doesn't appeal to the public at all, uh, and it seeks to exclude the public from um, uh, you know, from, from engagement with it. I've tried to argue that that's not actually the case, that modernist art, modernist artists, modernist writers were not just involved in improving the quality of art, but also improving the quality of art's reception, improving the public's taste. So my book that's, that's coming out next year, which is called Insane Acquaintances, uh, British uh, Modernism and, and Public Taste from 1900 to 1939, kind of deals with some of these encounters between um, the public and, and modernism. But I'm also interested in the ways in which uh, artists, reviewers um, and, and critics try to explain art and literature to uh, the public. So that's, that's led me to, to, to kind of focus on work around art writing. Uh, and what I mean by art writing is not just art criticism, not just literary criticism, but writing that tries to sensitively respond to uh, art, writing that's almost artistic in itself. And I've dealt with a kind of huge canon of writers from the 19th to the early 20th century, uh, writers like John Ruskin, Walter Pater, um, D.H. Lawrence, people like Henry James as well, writers like Vernon Lee, and also some less well-known ones, uh, such as Sir Cheverell Sitwell and Adrian Stokes. And the third strand of my research is focused on um, a number of individual writers, I guess, who are, who are, who are working across that, that 19th and 20th century divide. And I think literary criticism in, in this country still suffers from a kind of division around the year 1900 from um, uh, into Victorian and 19th century critics and also modernist critics. And I've tried to broach that divide in, in a number of ways in work on writers such as Ford Maddox Ford, uh, and particularly uh, the, the great American novelist Henry James, who was uh, producing work in the 19th and 20th century, and who is a kind of, you know, a figure seen as having uh, feet in, in both the 19th century in the Victorian tradition, in the realist tradition, but also in an impressionistic and, and modernist tradition as well.